by herself. Come get your front row seats. Everyone, come on. You will still have plenty of time to jump on the inflatables. The good seats are going quick. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Get those kids a few more minutes to get over here. Give me some balloons. I'd like a few balloons to entertain them. Mm. You got some balloons handy? Yeah, well, she's, she's running out of energy over here. If you start the balloons, they all don't want just balloons. Until the story starts, and then I'll stop. No, they're all here. That's good. It's not all go, of them. Go, take the, the, go get them over here. She's supposed to start. She can't stay out, out there forever. Now, Mick 
Tease off for my little children. They dream of Lafitte's treasure. And they said, Bonsoir, Papa. Good night. With just a little bit of money and food, the new stepmama, Lilia, she was anxious to get rid of them children from her house. So one morning she tried to convince her husband to leave them children in the swamp. Don't worry, Cher. Those locusts need some children to show them all around in that bayou. They're going to take good care of them children. What Tipu said, he hear what they say, and he smart him. So he go outside, and he gets some oyster shells, and they put them in his pocket. Later that day, Papa called out, Tipu said, Tipu let Danny see, come here. It's time to bake the traps. Hello, let's go. Tipu said, Tipu let follow Papa and Lilia out into the swamp. And as he walked along, he dropped pieces of his oyster shell so he could find his way back. Get that straw, said Lilia. Hurry up. Lilia said that to Tipu said. He said, I'm watching for Coco 3. Oh, Sefu, you're crazy, said Lilia. When they had baited the most of the trap, Papa stopped and he built a fire. And he said, stay here, Ms. Enfant, my little children, while Lilia and I go bait the rest of the trap. So Tipu said, saw the sadness in his daddy's eyes. Well, when night came and they didn't come back for the cheering, Tipoulette started to cry. And Tipoulette said, no, pa, Tipoulette. He said, don't cry. My oyster shells will lead us home. Sure enough, as the moon shine on them oyster shells, they followed them oyster shells all the way home. And their papa was so happy to see them, but he was ashamed of what they had done that day. Well, the next day after papa had left, Vivia called the children, the stepmama. She said, let's take this boudin, got some Cajun sausage, to your papa for lunch. Well, Tipu said didn't have time to go get some oyster shells, so he had to go get le pain poutine the stale bread. So he put that in his pocket. And as they walk out into the swamp, he was dropping the crumbs of bread all along the way. Well, after Papa had his lunch and he left to go bait some more traps, Lilia built the fire and she told them children to wait there until she came back for them. Well, what you think she did? She didn't go back for them. Soon the swamp got real dark and the children started, started to look for their way home. And all of a sudden they realized, Ella, all the paper is gone. Cause all them swamp creatures eat it up. They didn't know how to get home. Pasha, don't cry. Let's climb up that tree right there. And we're going to rest where Coco Dri can't find us. And in the morning, they start looking for berries. And they end up going deeper and deeper and deeper into the swamp. Till they couldn't find their way home. Not at all. Well, all of a sudden, they heard some good Cajun music playing. Some good Cajun music playing. Some good Cajun music playing. There we go, look. So you had it there for a while. I got to get better help, huh?